Hi guys, it's me from Succulents Box. Welcome back to our channel with another plant care session. Today let's talk about one very important topic, root-bound succulents. You've probably heard about it a lot, but what actually is a root-bound plant? Root-bound plants are plants that have outgrown their pots and their root systems are so big they press directly against the edge of your pot. These roots can sometimes twist together and form a web-like network. Is root-bound issue harmful? First, let's take a look at the effects it has on your beloved succulents. So, here's the deal with root-bound succulents. When they don't have enough space to spread their roots, they can't access the extra nutrients in the soil that they need to keep growing. It's like they're stuck in a container that limits their growth. Now, it might not seem like a big deal if you want your succulents to stay the same size for a while, but here's the thing. All plants need room to grow, including succulents. When succulents are root-bound, they miss out on the essential nutrients they require to thrive. When succulents are root-bound, they tend to look like they're thirsty and underwatered. So, if you notice drooping leaves, discolored stems, and a dry top layer of soil, chances are your succulent might be root-bound. Another clue is that the leaves may feel softer to the touch and the bottom ones might turn crispy and brown. Next, let's look for signs that your succulent is a bit cramped. After watering, if you notice the water draining away super quickly, it could be a sign the roots have outgrown the pot. Also, if you see that your succulent's growth has been stunted, it might be due to being root-bound. In some extreme cases, you might even see the roots pushing through the drainage holes. Now, if you really want to be sure if your succulent is root-bound, the best way is to take it out of the pot and examine the root ball. If the roots aren't tightly packed and it's easy to remove them from the pot, then it's likely root-bound but not severe. However, if the roots have clung to the pot walls and are tightly packed, you can use a knife to carefully loosen the outermost edges of the pot to remove the roots. Once your succulent is out, take a good look at the root ball. If the roots are compacted around it, it's mildly root-bound. But if the roots are tightly packed and take the shape of the pot with little soil visible, then your succulent is seriously root-bound. If your succulent is just slightly root-bound, or if repotting isn't an option, you can first try to prune the roots. To prune those tangled roots, let's start by taking your succulent out of its pot and gently brushing away any dirt from the roots. Use your clean fingers to gently separate any loose roots from each other. If a root doesn't come loose easily, don't force it. You should also trim off any roots that are discolored, infected, or damaged to promote healthier growth. It's important to remember that after root pruning, you should also clean out the pot and refill it with fresh, clean soil. Root pruning may not work if your succulent has become seriously root-bound. In that case, repotting is recommended. First, water your plant thoroughly the day before and gently remove your succulent from the pot. Try not to damage the root system. You can cut off the root parts that cannot be separated from the pot. Once your succulent is free from its old pot, take a look at its roots. If you notice any damaged ones, go ahead and trim them away. Then, using clean hands, give the roots a gentle shake to get rid of any old soil. With those clean hands, gently pry apart any matted roots, allowing the root ball to relax and breathe. Now that the root balls are detangled and free, it's time to rehome your succulent in its new pot. When repotting, make sure the new pot is at least 10% larger in volume compared to the previous one. We don't want to cramp those little roots again. After repotting, it's important to let its roots dry out before watering. Give it some time to adjust to its new surroundings. After about two weeks, you can stick to your usual watering schedule. And that's all for root-bound succulents. Now you know how to repot your plants and give them more room to grow. That's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing for more content. If you've got any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.